Hi friends and welcome to this week's episode. I'm so excited today to be talking to you about a new service line and this is bouncing off the video that we produced last week about getting rid of that belly fat and insulin resistance and all of that stuff. We got so much feedback, thank you, about that video and people wanting to come and see us to help with that really annoying problem that we know leads to all kinds of health issues as we get older, as well as just not feeling good in our own body. But because we're only licensed in Texas, there are some limitations on what we've been able to do. But being very creative as we are, we've come up with a way to help to reach more of you to achieve your goals. So first of all, let me just review what our weight optimization plan is. And I like to use the word weight optimization, not weight loss, because we don't really care what you weigh. Remember, it's really all about how much muscle we have and how much body fat we have, especially around the middle, and particularly behind our abdominal wall, what we call visceral fat. So yes, when you come and see us, you will lose weight, but we're much more interested in muscle mass and what percentage of your total weight is body fat rather than what you weigh on the scale. Makes sense? So I'm gonna talk about weight optimization because nobody likes to talk about weight loss. So let me tell you about the plan that we have currently, and then I'm gonna explain how we're making it more available for more of you to be able to benefit from it. So as you might remember, our 12-week weight optimization plan has six pillars or six main parts, and within each part, there are lots of nuances. But let me just break those down for you as a summary. Number one, not surprisingly, is nutrition. And we do not like the word diet. That makes everybody feel small and scared and hungry. We don't want you to feel small and scared and hungry. We want you to eat lots of yummy, delicious food. Dr. Leah talked a lot about that last week, about the importance of protein, fiber, water, of course, healthy fats like olive oil. So we don't have to be cooking all of our food in the air fryer, <laughs> although we can. Lots of ways to cook yummy, delicious food so we don't feel deprived. So nutrition, number one, very important. And what we're trying to do here is create a nutrition plan that you love, that you enjoy, that makes you feel good, and most importantly, that you can continue forever. Because if it's just for 12 weeks, you're going to gain the weight right back again. So we talked about that last week as well. What we're interested in is long-term, permanent, I mean, as long as you live permanent weight optimization with nutrition. That's number one. Number two, of course, is movement. Again, we don't like the word exercise because that scares some people. We're talking about moving, and moving is healthy, and moving could be dancing, it could be skipping, it could be walking your dog, it could be jumping rope, it could be anything that gets your heart rate up. So there's cardiovascular exercise that elevates our heart rate, that's good for our heart, and it burns calories, right? So we talked about that calories are not important and we don't count them. However, calories are simply a unit of measurement of energy. So when we move around, we are burning energy, and that way we start using fat for fuel. So cardiovascular exercise is important, even though we don't really count calories, especially because it's good for your heart, and it drives you into fat burning mode. So we're going to recommend some cardiovascular exercise, and that could be something fun, like walking your dog fast around the block, going for a brisk walk with a girlfriend, or you might like running, jogging, anything that gets your heart rate up. And then 50% weight training. Now, weight training could be going to Hank's gym with a bunch of sweaty guys lifting heavy weights, could be fun, depending on who you are. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad to me. Or it might be using your own body weight, doing floor Pilates, doing many different types of exercise that are using resistance training with rubber bands, with weights at the gym, with a trainer, with a Peloton app, with all the millions of things that are out there to help us because resistance training is critical to maintain muscle mass, as we've talked about. So that's number two. Number three is accountability, and accountability is so important. So many studies have shown, and we all know it just from our own psychology, that if we are being watched, we behave better, of course. Now, not that we're behaving badly, but we're going to stick to our plan when we know someone's watching us, because deep down, we all want to really do a good job, and we want to get 
kudos and smiles when we go to the office and we're successful. That's just human nature. So because we're seeing you every two weeks, that is a great incentive to stick to your plan. Now, not to say that sometimes they're better than others, right? We're not going to judge you if you gain weight in two weeks. We're going to hug you because that means you've had a hard time. So if you're struggling, we will give you compassion, not judgment. But that accountability is really, really important and it works. Another way to get accountability is with a continuous glucose monitor. We talked about that last week too, because that data is going to show up on your phone and then you're going to show it to us and you want to have good numbers because we all want to do a good job, right? That's just human nature. So we've got nutrition, we've got movement, we've got accountability. Now let's talk about hormones. And now these are not in any particular order because each one of those I could say, each one is the most important, right? But hormones, really important. So the first thing we do before we even start on the weight loss plan is do a very detailed look at your holistic health, including checking a full panel of blood work, not just the ovarian hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, although those are really important because we all know most of us here are perimenopausal or menopausal, that that drop in those hormones really does change our metabolism and lead to fat storing mode, especially around the middle. So menopause is absolutely associated with an increase in insulin resistance. So we're checking those hormones. We're also checking insulin. Speaking of insulin, insulin resistance. If you are overweight and you have belly fat, you have insulin resistance. I mean, pretty much without question. We just have to find out where it is and find out how to manage it. Again, we can do that in lots of different ways. So we're checking thyroid. We're looking at fluctuations that could indicate that your cortisol is too high or too low by monitoring your sleep, for example. Now that all falls in the hormone bucket, even when we're talking about sleep, because sleep is so wrapped up in hormonal sub-optimization. I'm not going to say anything's wrong with you. It's just sub-optimal or less than the best that we can be. And then of course we check everything to do with your heart health, your lipid panel, your ApoB, your kidney function, liver function, nutrients like Iron, very important, vitamin D, vitamin B12, so many things. Very, very deep dive into digging into your thyroid. So that is first. Before we even move into the weight loss plan, we have to get that optimized. So hormones, really important. So I mentioned so far, nutrition, movement, accountability, hormones. Let's talk about medications, number five. Now, in our 12-week weight loss program, we do use semaglutide, which by now you know is the generic form of what's known as Ozempic or Wigovi. I'm sure lots of you have many, many friends who are using those drugs for weight loss. And let's be honest, some of them are not doing very well because it's really important that that's managed very, very closely. Please don't buy it from Mexico or Canada or share it with one of your friends or get it from a doctor who just says, go ahead and take it and don't come back. Or all they do is weigh you and they don't encourage you to exercise and eat protein and look at your muscle mass. What happens with these drugs if they're not monitored very closely is we starve. We lose critical nutrients, we can get really sick, and most importantly, we can lose muscle mass, which leads to every health condition that we don't want. So in the context of a very tightly managed weight loss plan, I believe those drugs can be very, very helpful. We know they make you lose weight because they take away your appetite, but they also work on neurotransmitters in our brain that are responsible for cravings. So that's very helpful if we have the, like we do, right, with menopause, sugar cravings. It can be uncontrollable or cravings for alcohol or other things that we know are less than healthy. So we do use that medication in our program and we watch it very, very closely. So now we're down to number six, last, maybe certainly not least, mindset. So mindset is I don't know, maybe that is the most important thing. Anytime we're trying to change a habit, no matter what it is, mindset is the key to success. So if we're going into a weight loss plan, and how many times have you done this where you've said, I'm going to do something as my New Year's resolution, and it lasts about a week because we haven't worked on developing a mindset that's going to lead to success. So if we don't address that part, it will not work. 
So we are going to address that part. We're going to talk to you about where those limiting beliefs come in, where those stories start running in our head about how this is not going to work. I'm not good enough. I'm always going to be fat. It's not going to work for me. I might as well just let me eat some ice cream. The world's ending, so who cares anyway? Let me drink a bottle of wine. All of those things. I've had those thoughts. They're stories that run in our head. But what we teach you is how to stop. Like Dr. Leah said, halt. Am I hungry? Angry? Lonely? Tired? Halt. Stop. Turn it around. Stop that negative thought. Replace it with a different one. It's a practice. It takes a lot of time. And you're not always going to be successful. That's okay. We'll give you a hug. We'll start over again. But we'll teach you those practices so that you can be successful in learning how to, I'm not going to say control your mind because we can't control our mind, but how to observe our mind, to be aware of what's going on so when those stories start taking us down a path that's less than healthy, We can take that brief second and just stop, turn it around. And that's where the mindset comes in. And one of my favorite things to do in the mindset arena is to look at a vision of where you want to be. I love thinking about visions for the future. Think about how are you going to feel when you reach your goal? Lots of details. What are you wearing? Where are you? Is it sunny? Are you on a boat on the beach? Are you skiing? What can you do now that you couldn't do before? Maybe you're walking up a hill. Maybe you're at a trip you've always wanted to go on, but you've been scared to do it because it requires a lot of activity, like going up Machu Picchu or who knows what it is. What are people saying about you? Like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. What are you saying to yourself when you look in the mirror? All of these details. And then you can draw it out and journal it. You can put a picture of yourself when you were younger or when you looked in a way that you thought was healthier, whatever it takes to keep that vision in the forefront so that when we have those derailing thoughts, we've got something to come back to. Like, no, halt. This is where I really want to go. Do I want to align with that thought that's taking me to the fridge to eat ice cream? And where has that led? Has that led to good things or not such good things in the past? Or do I want to align with this other thought that's taking me in a healthy direction? And I can promise you this is not something that works overnight. I work on it every day myself. But we help you. We're here to help. So those are the six pillars of our weight loss plan. It's been incredibly successful. We've been doing it for about two and a half years now in our office. Patients are safely losing up to 10 pounds of fat a month. That's not rare for a patient who has, say, 50 pounds or more to lose without losing muscle, without being hungry, without becoming nutritionally depleted, any of those things. So it's not uncommon to lose 30 pounds of fat in 12 weeks. Now, if you have less to lose, of course, you'll see that weight loss is a little bit slower. But just to say, it's been very, very effective. Now, here comes the interesting part with the change that we're adopting. Up until now, we have only offered this in person in our office. And here's why. We want you to get on the body composition machine. In fact, we need you to. We need to check your blood pressure. We need to really sit and look at you and ask you how are you doing and what have you been eating and then talk to you about the dosing of the medication. Do we need to go up? Do we need to go down? Do we have any issues we need to address with side effects? Every two weeks we need to do that. But guess what? We figured out a way to do that remotely. A couple of things you need to do. One is to purchase this in-body, at-home body composition machine and a blood pressure cuff, which you can get from Walgreens. So to be in this program remotely, you have to have a body composition machine. Now, is this one as good as the one we have in our office? No, it's not. But you know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. And we do want you all to have the same one because then we can compare apples to apples. We keep a lot of data about our weight loss program because it's so successful. That way we can tell you how much weight people lose. We can tell you how much weight people gain back afterwards and whether they do, and all of that's important. So in order for us to collect that data reliably, you gotta get the same one. We're not affiliated with them. I don't make any money from this. That's a good machine. It works better than any other one, and it's relatively affordable. So now you've got your at-home in-body machine. You've got your blood pressure cuff. This is how it would work. 
first visit we can do remotely. We get your blood drawn before we see you. The first visit is 60 to 90 minutes, going over every aspect of your health. At the end of that visit, more than likely, we're adding some supplements, perhaps some hormones. Maybe you're starting on estrogen. Maybe you're starting on thyroid. Whatever we need in order to, to make everything as healthy as we can before we get started. And then at that visit, if you want to proceed, we're going to order the semaglutide for you. If you live in Texas now, as I mentioned, we can only prescribe medications to people who have a Texas address. So at the moment, I'm talking about remote patients who live in Texas. I'm going to talk to you about another option in just a moment. But for patients who cannot come to Houston or cannot come into our office every two weeks, we can prescribe semaglutide to you. It's shipped to your home. It takes about two weeks to get it. So now we're two weeks past that first visit. You've started on your supplements. You're getting your hormones optimized. Now it's time to have our first visit within the weight loss program itself. Now the first weight loss visit is another 60 to 90 minutes where we're going to go over each of those six pillars as it relates to you. For example, nutrition isn't the same for every person. What if you travel a lot? What if you have kids and you're at the baseball park every night and all they have is hot dogs and nachos? What if you are vegan? What if you don't like certain foods? What if you have different cultural nutritional requirements that are not common in this country? So many different things that come into play. Some people like certain things and don't like others. We're going to create a nutrition plan that works for you, one that you like, that you can do. Some people cook every night. Some people never cook. All of that will be taken into account. We'll create a movement plan that works for you, and I promise we can find one. Maybe it's walking your dog. Maybe it's doing an Ironman triathlon. Anywhere in between. But we'll find what works for you, and we'll set up goals, and we'll make it manageable. If you're starting from the couch, no judgment, you might be. Maybe we start with 10 minutes a day. We're going to start where we are. We start where we are, and we go from there. And then after the movement part, we're going to talk to you about the medications and the other pillars. The, of course, the mindset piece will get into where your sticky points are, whether you like doing journaling, how that works for you so that we can keep you in a healthy mind state and then offer support for those days when all that falls apart. Because it will. It does. <laughs> and we'll be here for you to give you a hug on those tough days. So that first visit, again, it's a long one so that we can get to know you and set up a plan that's exactly right for you. Now we get into the visits that are every two weeks for 12 weeks. So obviously six visits, two weeks apart. Those can be done remotely. Now we would love for you to come in in person. It is better for you to come in in person if you can, but we're in Houston. If you live in Dallas, if you live in San Antonio, if you live in El Paso, we can see you remotely so long as you have your in-body scale, your blood pressure cuff, and we can set an appointment to spend 30 minutes with you every two weeks. We can do it on the phone, and we can achieve goals that are similar. We can do it. So now we have our really fantastic holistic weight loss program available to everyone who lives in Texas. And now let me talk about what if you don't live in Texas. Well, here are the rules. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't make them. For patients who live outside of Texas or do not have a Texas address, we cannot prescribe medication for you. We cannot diagnose or treat a medical problem. We cannot state that we are licensed to practice in your state. So there's some very strict rules about that. However, what we can do is provide coaching and education. I am a licensed coach. Dr. Leah is a nutrition coach. Our nurse practitioners can provide coaching. So coaching, education, that does not count as practicing medicine so long as we don't prescribe you anything. So in that case, you could follow the other five pillars. You would not be getting the medication, but you can still follow the nutrition, the movement, the mindset, the accountability, everything else, and the hormones, of course, just not the medication. And so that could be very valuable. Not everybody needs semaglutide. You can do very well without it. It's a tool in the toolbox. But don't let that put you off being part of the program if you are interested in it, because 
It's so helpful, and we do know how to help you to lose weight. I promise you, we can create a plan that lets you get rid of that belly fat, not be hungry, eat normal healthy food, food from the grocery store, stuff you can eat forever, so you can keep that weight off forever. This isn't a 12-week plan. It's a forever plan, but 12 weeks is often enough time to build a habit. You know, it takes time to build a habit. Maybe it's 12 weeks. Maybe it's twice that long. A lot of our patients stay in maintenance after the end of the 12 weeks. So in that case, if you're not at your goal at the end of the 12 weeks, or if you just need more support and you want to continue getting the support from us, we check in with you monthly at that point for as long as you want to. Forever if you want to. We're always going to be here for you. Well, until we're not here anymore. We'll be here for you probably as long as you are. So I'm so excited to be rolling this out because we want to reach as many women as we can. I know there are so many diet and fad plans out there that just don't work. And we have unfortunately seen so many patients lose weight with Ozempic and other techniques and gain it right back again. And that yo-yo dieting is so unhealthy. So we want this to be the last nutrition plan that you ever go on. The last one. It'll be the one that lasts you for life. So I have a favor to ask you. If you like this episode, please subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you happen to be listening to this on any type of podcast type of thing, Spotify or what have you, because we do have this in audio only as well, write some comments, please. You know what happens with that is it changes the algorithm so that it makes it more visible to other people. I have no interest in being famous. I don't want to be a movie star. I don't want to have millions of YouTube followers. I just want to help as many women as I can. So if you do that, that's a generous act to help us to be able to reach more women so that we can help more people to live longer, be healthier, reduce the risk of every disease that we don't want, and just to have a happier second half of life. And that's what we're all about. So if you did like this episode, please don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends. There are links below for how to connect with us if you do want to visit with us virtually. All of that's below. We can't wait to see you either in person or virtually, even if you don't live in Texas. Yay! We're going to call it coaching. We're not practicing medicine. We're just using education and coaching and we are rule followers. That way, we're following the rules and everybody's happy. I can't wait to see you next week. Mm -hmm.